Mets and Braves opening up a three-game series at City Field. Scary moment, top of the fifth. Jordan Schaefer at the plate, tries to bunt, and this one ricochets right into his face. Just got under it. Schaefer clearly hurt and in pain, left the ball game, replaced by Eric Hinsky. Later in the at-bat, Nee settles down, and one of seven strikeouts on the night for Jonathan Neese. That strikeout was charged to Schaefer. Top of the eighth inning, it's 3-1 to one New York. Neese still in, and Chipper Jones at the plate. Swing and a drive. That ball was crushed. Down the left field line and gone. Wow. 46th career home run for Chipper against the Mets. Neese went seven and two-thirds, then gave way to Jason Isringhausen. Top eight, runner on first base. Wild pitch that gets away from Josh Tolling. Dan Ugla moves on to second base. Later in the at-bat against Alex Gonzalez, ground ball to shortstop. Jose Reyes can't come up with it. Ugla comes around to score. A walk, a wild pitch, and an error leads to the Braves tying the game at three. Unbelievable stuff from Reyes. Just under the glove, never made contact. Top nine, still tied at three. Eric Kinski at the plate. Eric Kinski jumps on a first pitch and drives it a mile high, deep right. In the corner, it is going to be gone! A home run! Eric Kinski in the ninth with a majestic home run. Sixth of the year for Hinsky. Later in the frame with K-Rod facing Freddie Freeman. This one hit into left center. It brings home Martin Prado and Brian McCann. Braves had a 6-3 lead. Freeman thrown out trying to go for three, but the damage was done. Bottom of nine, Craig Kimbrell on for the save. Still with a three-run advantage, facing Willie Harris with two outs and a man on second base. And Kimbrell gets him down swinging. Harris retired on the drop third strike. Kimbrell with a 17th save. That's a new National League rookie record for saves before the All-Star break. Atlanta takes the series opener 6-3. to three. Johnny Venters with a scoreless eighth inning. He picks up the win. He's now 4-0. Mets allow five runs over the final two innings.